Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the actual last midweek review. Now, I know I said the video that I made on Sunday would be the last one, but you know what? You guys have shown me a lot of support this year, and I really appreciate it. Um, you know, I did take eight to nine months off prior to, you know, being consistent again, and a lot of you have just shown a lot of love, a lot of support, um, and it you know, it doesn't go unnoticed, um, and I really do appreciate, even when I check the views on YouTube, um, you know, the, the DMs I get, the messages I get, and everything, it's just very humbling to to listen to a lot of you, you know, tell me that you've passed your FTMOs, you've got funded, um, and it's a very humbling experience, so I thought, you know what, because of the support you guys have shown me, and I know I'm going to do those four lessons, but what I'm also going to do is give you another breakdown, and see if you guys are going to make the most of the next two days. Now, let me just get straight into it. Let's get the analysis part out of the way before I go into anything else. So, starting with tomorrow, we have a lot of news. Again, high impact news. Tomorrow, Friday, it is just a full action packed week and it has been off especially after FOMC today I think it's cleared up a lot of things hence why I wanted to do this breakdown I wanted to give you guys a little bit more insight into what I'm actually thinking going into tomorrow and Friday um, you know because I do think the direction is a little bit more clear and I did say on, on the weekly breakdown that I uploaded um, a couple of days ago I said it's, I'm 50-50 and you guys have seen me take scalps. Again, like I said, I can scalp in a 50-50 condition. But I feel like now we, we've we gone more clear into um, where the market's going. Again, I could be wrong. I could be, right? I could, I'm never 100% right. But I feel like um, it's interesting to see where the, the market's going. So um, I'm going to go straight into it. Firstly, I am going to start with the dollar index. Now, dollar, dollar, dollar. Look at that fall. Now, I wanted to. I. I, I mean, I, I'm happy that it. The, the whole the thing, how everything's just not a coincidence, but everything just aligns. Um, you know, it's midweek and FOMC obviously being on a Wednesday, and how the directions become clear. And I just love the way it tanked. Um, I was hoping if you. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I was hoping for a bullish run on dollar, um, but. I feel like I have I have been proven incorrect on that part. And I did say to you guys, let's see what happens. So, pointing straight away like I did on the uh, Telegram, we do have that SMT, you know. We have this high over here in DXY. So I failed to make that high. And boom. Uh, we have the FOMC run lower. Euro on the other hand. Ladies and gentlemen, we have that low. That low got wrecked. And another thing that I was pointing out on the weekly breakdown was this could have been a proportion block and I I think it's very clear that it is. Um, I feel like we could be going into like maybe a weekly bullish order blocking decoration maybe, right? Um, but for now, again, a nice lovely reaction. We do have the daily order block inside the weekly OB over there. But look, look at what else we have. We have an instant rebalance, immediate rebalance, sorry. So I like to see that. You know, it hasn't left any gaps or price to come back into. It's showing me that it wants to run. Um, and if you go into the four hour, again, I don't really think price is going to come all the way back down here. Uh, but we do have, if we take these candles across, the reclaimed blocks, these could be good buying opportunities. So again, we do have this massive buy side and balance sell side inefficiency. So I'm very interested to see how price comes into that. I do think this is a very big market maker buyer model underway over here. So we've got the sell side of the curve, we've got the buy side of the curve. And I do think we are gearing up for a nice opportunity, you know. Um, I feel like, you know, the we're going to have one nice one or two maybe opportunities to get in before we take out that high. Um, I want to see what Asia does. Normally, I don't always trade London the, the day of the FOMC. However, again, I'm going to see uh, what the situation is. But I do feel like we're going to get a nice opportunity uh, to be buyers and get above that high over there. Uh, maybe I'll be looking for a one shot, one kill just to end the year off. Again, who knows? Who knows what I'm looking for, right? Who knows what I'm thinking? Um... You know, ideally, it'd be amazing to just buy, put a, put a stop loss here, boom, 
Um, but um, I don't really think I'm key on that. I want to see us get into this blue area over here, like I said on the far thing, uh, reclaimed block. And um, I think if we create like an order block, or if or if it comes down here, I don't mind being a buyer on that. Um, and I'm putting my stop loss here, um, about 80 pips to go for that. For, to go for a nice run is what I'm looking for. Just a nice run of 100, 200 pips, um, something like that. But again, I'll see. I'll see. But I do think this is a nice market maker bar model um, gearing up. And we do have those highs over there. So, you know, the first high is just this high over here in ASM, And that's the other high. I, again, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, um, these two are my last trading days. So... I do think we'll get above this high if we are in a market maker buy model. Um, I don't know about that high. I can't promise anything. Um, but I am looking for a decent trade to end this year off. Again, not forcing it. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen, right? I, I don't really care. Um, so, it is what it is. In terms of GU, again, just go on the daily. GU, GU, GU. So, in GU, we can see. SMT took out that low. Yeah. EU, that low's been there. So, am I. What pair would I rather trade? I mean, GU's been choppy. Um, I, I, again, I do think, you know, just like EU, we're going higher. But I just love the PA right now on EU. And again, guys, I could be completely wrong. I, tomorrow, this whole thing could just tank and I would be wrong, right? Um, again, I don't like to sit here and talk with 100% certainty because you can never be 100% in this marketplace. Um, but I can give you our bias and I do think that is where we are going. I, I think we are bullish. I think I'm going to use this reclaimed block, take that across. And I'm going to see how we trade. Um, ideally, I'd like to see London or New York make the low around this area over here. And then from there, boom, we go higher. Or maybe London does it. Again, I need more information to work with in the sense that I have the bias now. I just need to see what Asia does. What happens overnight? Let's see. And let's see what happens in London. If London really starts to go lower, again, going with the news over here. Uh, well, we have all the news for Euro, especially at 115, uh, 130 time. So let's see if London really rallies lower, low and gets into this area. I would suspect London to make the low of the day. Uh, but again, I need to wait until tomorrow for that. But like I said, ladies and gentlemen, I do think this is a nice market maker buy model um, gearing up. So and guys, I wanted to give you guys this breakdown. I wanted to just quickly have a little chat, just talk about what I think is coming up. Um, again, I appreciate all the support I've received and I mean it's not it's not bye bye for the year <laughs> because again I have the lessons planned and you know I haven't recorded it yet you know for this Sunday I haven't recorded the marketing band sound model lesson um, I am just going through writing all the notes for it how I'm going to structure it and I'll probably get it recorded uh, by Friday Saturday and then uploaded on that Sunday so I hope you guys are looking forward to that again guys this is why sometimes you know you have to wait until FOMC passes. I know I traded the day before. Like I said, scalper mindset. In, out, in, out. None of this day trading stuff until now. Uh, now you can look to think maybe, okay, maybe I want to hold it for 60, 70 pips. If, um, I might look for a one-shot, one kill. Now is the time I look for a one-shot, one kill. Um, I know a lot of people might disagree and say no, but you know I want to catch it down here. I mean, yeah, I mean that's all good in theory, catching it down here, but what's your reason for catching it down there? Do you get what I'm saying? Um, like, what's your reason? I feel like I have a stronger reason now to buy um, than I did anywhere down here. Now that the SMT is there. Now the FMC has just, boom, displaced as well. Um, it just makes it a little bit easier. So, again, that's my final breakdown of the year. I hope you guys have been enjoying all my breakdowns this year. I will be continuing next year for free. That's the key word, guys. For free. Um, I will just continue uploading over to YouTube. Obviously, I would really appreciate it if you guys just give it a thumbs up, get the views racking, share it with anyone who's an ICT trader or even a general trader. Um, I would love to just get intuition effects out there a little bit more like it used to be, um, even on Twitter. But I'd appreciate a thumbs up, a subs uh, you know, a subscribe, a comment, anything. Um, all the love, it, it goes a long way. And it just motivates me more, you know. I want to get DMs from people saying, hey, man, I, I, I um, you know, 
I passed my 100k FTMO. It, it's humbling. And a lot of these messages are on my Instagram. So the link is in the bio uh, in the description, sorry, below. And if you go on my Instagram, you'll see a highlight called messages. And those are all the people that have messaged me, um, you know, with with a lot of like love. And again, you know, I'm not making any of this up, basically. You know, a lot of people have passed the FTMOs, um, you know, their funded challenges. And, you know, I've, I've opened a lot of people's eyes. And, and it's not me, do you know what I'm saying? Um, credits to ICT for teaching everything you know he didn't have to but we really appreciate ict for teaching so again that concludes the breakdown guys um appreciate every single one of you i know i've said it so much but i really do appreciate every single one of you um i'm so happy to be consistent again i'm so happy to be back on intuition effects i'm so happy to be making videos and interacting with so many traders now and i hope you guys have an amazing week i will uh, keep you updated uh, on the telegram and obviously i'll see you guys on the sunday uh market maker band sell model lesson uh, it won't be a breakdown though so do not expect a breakdown please um but i will keep you guys updated on telegram to see if i catch anything in the next two days other than that i hope you guys enjoy your evening take care guys and peace